guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing really well. So for today's video, I tried to create a brown smoky eyes with a little bit of glitter in between, kind of giving a hello effect. So I put a little bit of glitter in between. So if you want to know how I created this look, how I got this beautiful bronzed look, so then please keep watching. So I'm starting up my makeup. I'm using a Johnson BB cream to as a moisturizer to my skin. I'm patting this all in my skin. I'm using a brow pomade which I actually did it by myself. It is a DIY brow pomade. If you're interested to know how I did this, then please comment down below or else you can DM me on my Instagram as well. This is a very affordable, um, you know, DIY eyebrow pomade. You can easily make it in your home with only with the two or three ingredients. If you look this, it will look like, you know, it will look quite fake. It will look quite, you know, um, tattoo effect, but wait for the result. <laughs> wait for the result. So here I'm filling the eyebrows, uh, the sparse gap and everything. I'm filling it with a small angular brush. Don't worry if my eyebrows are looking artificial right now, we are going to fix it all. So now I'm taking a spoolie and gonna brush it all. If I'm brushing it, the, all the extra product will be, you know, swept off so you can see the natural looking eyebrows are there. This is a very nice method guys. If you have any extra amount of, uh, you know, product in your eyebrow, this will just swipe it out. So I'm taking this uh, base for my eyeshadow base also and I'm just cleaning the edges of my eyebrow to give that, you know, snatched look, snatched eye Instagram look to my eyebrows. This is from Krylon, shade FS38, it's a supra color. This is actually one or two tone uh, lighter to my skin tone. Now I'm blending it out. All the product which I've done, I'm blending it out. For my eyeshadow, I'm using this beautiful palette from the LA Colors in the shade Seductive. I'm, you know, setting the base with the lighter shade of the eye, um, eyeshadow. Now to start up my eye makeup, I'm using this light uh, burgundy shade. I'm just patting the color on my eyelid and building up the color slowly, slowly. So there will be no uh, extra product on my eyelid and it will look very natural. Now I'm taking a blender brush and I'm just blending all out so there will be no uh, uh, harsh edges will be there. So blending it out. For my next step, I'm taking the chocolate brown color which is a very beautiful color and blending especially uh, focusing on my outer V and blending inward. So there will be no harsh line again. I'm taking this Miss Clear eyeshadow in the shade light brown and blending all together to look, uh, you know, very sh summer look. And I'm taking the LA color blush in the shade Psych to give the shimmery effect. I'm just putting on my uh, center of my eyelid and blending all together to avoid any harsh, uh, you know, uh, sides in my eye. So for my eyeliner today, I'm not using any eyeliner. I'm just using the uh, cho dark chocolate shade in the angular brush. I'm wetting my, uh, you know, brush to give that uh, eyeliner effect. So this will give, this will just enhance the look and at the same time it will uh, define the eye shape as well. So here I'm somewhere completing my eye look. So here is done. Finishing up with the eye look, like an upper eye look. Now I'm cleaning my face with the tissue, a uh, wet tissue. And going forward to you do my base makeup. I'm using a Lacme primer in the Lacme Absolute Blur Primer to blur out all the pores. I'm using a dark shade of uh, concealer to uh, you know fade all the spots and dark circles this is also from the Krylon in the shade fs26 this is a darker shade for my base i'm going with the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade classic beige i'm blending it out blending it properly guys so i'm done with the highlight and contour 
now to lock the makeup i'm using a krylon loose powder and i'm dabbing it all over my skin today i'm not going with the uh, baking i'm just dabbing all the product in my skin because this foundation is also all uh, only like this foundation doesn't need baking this sets naturally so i'm just tapping the powder on my skin forehead wherever it's needed so for my next for my blush i'm using this moda cosmetic blush from purple.com as you can see how much i love this blush because i'm gonna end this very soon this is very nice blush you guys this give natural effect so for my lower lash line i'm using the same dark chocolate shade in my lower lash line waterline um, for my waterline i'll do it later i'm curling my eyelash and going with the mascara i've done my falsies offline because online <laughs> i've done it offline using this belle vosta white kajal for the next step i'm using the highlighter which is i got it from muska the local store but this amazing you can see the glow guys it's so amazing using in my inner corner and the brow bone so here i'm completing my full face look for the lipstick i'm mixing two lips this one i got it from the local store this is a brownish going to mattify with the tissue and for the next shade i'm using a maybelline or uh, lipstick in the shade touch of spice and here i'm completing my full look so this is the final look guys i hope you like it i have took this in the without filter or without effect so you guys can see the real colors which came on so thank you for watching that was it guys if you like the video then please give us a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to my channel until then i'll see you in my next video thank you bye bye